Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use method chaining concept in Selenium test automation. So let's get started. So I'll directly jump on to this Eclipse ID editor and freshly create a new project for explaining this concept for you. I'll say file new and I'll select a project as a Maven project. Just type Maven here, you get the Maven project. Quickly, I'll create a Maven project. So I'll create a default template thing. I don't want to select any, any other type of template. I'll just go on, I want to go with a simple project. Click on next, give the project name. Uh, what you can say, method chaining selenium demo, okay? Demo project. So you can give some group ID, MCSD or whatever, some random group ID, but this is the name of the project. Click on finish. In a while, this project will be created for us, okay? So let this loading complete. So yes, it got created. Method chaining selenium demo. And let me expand that. Let me go to SRC test Java. Let me create a class here. I'll just name this class as demo class with public static void main code of Java auto generated. So here we got the demo class. Inside that we have the main method. Inside this main method, I want to write the Selenium automation code. Okay, I'll start with the web driver manager. Web driver manager. If you are not aware of the web driver manager, I recommend you to watch my other videos on Selenium. Okay. So web driver manager dot, it's not working because I need to add the libraries. This project by default comes only with the Java library. But uh, if we have to use the web driver manager, we have to uh, add web driver manager library to this project. So it's very simple guys. Since it is a Maven project, we can directly go to the MVN repository here and uh, search for web driver manager as it is. And in the search results, you'll get this cat symbol with web driver manager from Boni Garcia. Go with the latest version 5.3.0. Copy, just click on this, it will be copied. And come back, open the form.xml file and add the dependency tags of this web driver manager in the form.xml file. Here, you just need to first add the dependency tags, dependencies, okay, without any spelling mistakes. You just make sure dependencies, okay, dependencies. And in between the dependencies, you add the dependency tag. Just now you copied from the mvn repository.com, okay, for web driver manager. Now, once you click on save button here, here you will get a Maven repository kind of option with this web driver manager library added to the project and configured with the project. Once I save all, you see it's downloading and configuring. You see you got Maven dependencies. Under the Maven dependencies, you got the web driver manager now. Now go back. Now this time it will work. Web driver manager dot. You see it's computing. Say Chrome driver dot setup. Okay, there's a first line you have to write. Next line is we have to write like this, okay? This is a sample code, guys. So uh, if you already know Selenium, you can understand this. Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. The main focus point of this session is to explain how we can implement the method chaining concept in Selenium. Test automation is the main thing that I wanted to cover, okay? So here, when I hover the mouse on this web driver interface from Selenium library, I'm not getting the import statement because this Selenium library is not yet added to this project. The similar way we added the web driver manager library to this project, we have to add the web driver library to also to this project. For that, again, we have to go to the MVN repository, search for Selenium Java here. And in search results, you got Selenium Java. Click on that, go with the latest version, copy this 4.5.0 as per when I'm recording this session, 19 October, 2022. This is the latest version we have. I clicked on that, it got copied to the clipboard. I'll go here and between the dependency tags, just add this similar the way we have done with the web driver manager. Click on save all button. It will be downloaded and configured into this project and it will be available under the Maven dependencies now. Okay, after this progress is done. Let's switch. Selenium libraries have not come yet. Uh, somehow it's uh, taking a lot of time. Okay. Let's wait for some time, guys. Okay, it got downloaded and configured now. Now, hover the mouse on this web driver and you will get this statement to import this web driver. And similarly, hover the mouse on this Chrome driver and import this Chrome driver class from Selenium library. Now, here is the thing that you have to focus on. 
Okay, the session is all about what I'm trying to explain now using method chaining in Selenium test automation. If I am not using method chaining, okay, here, the statement that I'm going to write will take multiple lines. So how driver dot, okay, using this object reference of this web driver interface, I'm going to call something known as manage. And this manage method is returning an object type of options class. So options, options is equal to like this, okay, over the mouse on options and import this options from Selenium library. Again, by using this object reference of options, by using this object reference of options, I'll be calling window, okay? And this window method of this options class is returning an object type of window class. Window, window is equal to, okay? Over the mode on this window and import this from Selenium library. Don't import from Java guys, import it from Selenium library. Now say window dot maximize, okay? So how many lines of code I have written? This line will open the Chrome browser, whereas these three lines that I have written here will maximize the browser, okay? These three lines, starting from the 16th line to the 20th line, these three lines will maximize the browser, okay? Till here, it will open the Chrome browser, not in the maximized mode, but uh, by using these three lines, we are maximizing the browser window, we'll see that. Okay, right click run as Java application, you will see automatically the Chrome browser will launch and it will get maximized. This is one of the example I want to take guys. Okay, there may be other places in Selenium where we can use method chain, but uh, one sample example I wanted to take here. So it will start the Chrome browser and it will maximize now, you see. But for maximizing, I have written three lines. Is there any possibility where I can reduce these three lines? Is there any possibility where I can reduce these three lines? Yes, guys. Thing is, this manage is returning the object type of the options class. I don't have to store that object type, object into the object reference. Rather, since it is an object, it is returning the object of the objects class, okay, directly, it is returning the object of the options class, directly I will say dot window. Okay, this statement is not required. Now, now this window is returning the object of the window class. I don't have to create an object reference using the method chaining concept directly. I can say dot maximize. You see, I don't have to write this many lines. This is returning the object of the options class. Since it is an uh, object of the options class, we can using this object, we can call the window method and which belongs to the options class. And this window method is returning the object of the window class. So instead of storing this, instead of storing this in a class, okay, into an object reference of a class, we can directly say object dot maximize. This is called as method chaining, guys. Now you'll see the same result, guys. By implementing the method chaining and reducing the number of lines written here, okay, instead of writing three, three to four lines here, we have written only one line still, the browser will get maximized, okay? This is one of the example in Selenium that you can take. Uh, for implementation of the method chaining, chaining in Selenium, guys, okay? This is how the method chaining is used in uh, Selenium automation, okay? So a lot of people will buy hard, like driver.manage.window.maximize, it will maximize the browser window. So it's, it got maximized, but you don't have to buy hard, guys, okay? This is the concept behind that, okay? We are actually using method chaining into this driver.manage.window.maximize concept, okay? Instead of using the object and creating an object and then, you know, right, defining the object and say dot window, say dot maximize separately, we are directly writing in a single line. So these are concept or theory behind this, okay? So hope guys, you understood how method chaining can be implemented in Selenium test automation with one of the examples in Selenium. So that's all for this session. Thank you, bye.